So once again, uh, good evening to everyone. I met many of you during the day today, and uh, you're very nice people. And you know, thank you for uh, surviving till the last uh, presentation. Uh, before starting, I would love to mention uh, Tim and uh, CGI School who approached me uh, during summer. And uh, Tim said that they would love to make a uh, conference. Uh, and, you know, I said, like, okay, I, I would love to come and I have actually something to show. And then we quit the chat. And eventually, four months later, we reconnected and he said what, what he planned for. And I was like, okay, well, you you took it seriously. So I'm very uh, glad that I can be here uh, today to premiere this. And at the same time, I would love to also thanks, uh, give my thanks to Tim and to uh, CGI School and to you know everybody who participated on organization of all of this for the prints. Uh, there's been intense, uh, intense hard work put to this. So uh, thank you, thank you for organizing. Before uh, me, uh, starting, I would love to introduce uh, myself with a uh, short uh, intro. So the short film, the short film will hopefully solve for, solve for you a few personal CGI problems that I believe every single CGI artist have met. Uh, and so the biggest personal problem is family, your family don't know what you do all day long. So uh, personally, it's a big issue as when you finish an image and you have all that joy after two weeks of uh, putting all the effort to it, and you show it to someone, and they're like, yeah, okay, nice. So, you know, it's uh, hard to get appreciation from the, from the inner close circle, which is, which is the closest to you, which is your most intimate people, which is, all, of course, putting you into a position that people, many people perceive you just as a random uh, computer guy or just as commercial illustrator or just someone sitting just like that uh, behind computer, which uh, also takes uh, me to a second personal uh, CGI problem, which is your client don't understand why it takes so long. Uh, and that's it's actually understandable uh, because of general CGI problems, which I believe are that most people don't know what CGI actually is, and CGI resembles photography so much. So I think uh, bumping to a random person, it's very hard to explain uh, something so imaginary and something that looks so much as photography. And actually, I also think that it's in human nature to try to think about th things in a way that 
if I don't understand something, I'm going to try to solve it the easiest way. So if I, if I don't know how to climb a mountain, I might think that it is easy to climb a mountain and things like that. And that associated together with uh, thinking that it's a photograph, I think makes everybody think that an image that you show to anyone is at the same time connected to how fast photography is done and how basically, you know, let's say easy and fast it is. So I wanted to solve uh, these problems somehow and I thought what would be the solution? And I think the, the solution would be to make something that tries to talk to broad audience and something that tries to bring general knowledge. And that's what the short film is about. It's aimed to broad audiences. It's not, not aimed for us, although it should be about us. It's, great for, it's aimed for all but us. And at the same time, it tries to make the correct uh, impression of what CGI is, but in a non-technical way. Because I think that a way to talk to broad audience is to make something based on a story and something that is not technical, but at the same time builds the correct perception and value in the mind of a viewer. So the short film is uh, closely connected to commercial project Beldy Stories, which I have been uh, publishing for the uh, past two months, uh, which was a collaboration with uh, Amal Hanafi, who was the main architect and the main experience designer. And the main goal was to capture emotions of the spaces. So I visited the building for one month, then went back and I recreated the whole building and went in just like a CGI uh, photographer, like photographer in 3D. And I tried to capture things that mostly represented emotionally the, the experience I had when I visited that building at the time. Uh, all these images uh, are uh, at the same time created in Corona and I was very happy that after uh, four months of work and finishing these images uh, I was approached uh, by a Belly team with an idea that they would love to create a exhibition with those images which is uh, I think a goal for any artist and all together with that and with, uh, with the fact that Emil Hanafi was also a big believer in the CGI, uh, that brought opportunity because there was a story, uh, a story of, of, uh, that ended up as a exhibition. And at the same time, uh, one thing that I didn't mention was that the building, as you saw, was already built at the time. So, in a way, it made CGI uh, prioritize before photography and uh, basically led me to try tell emotions, uh, b uh, not with photography that could have been done, but with CGI. So the short film uh, was born uh, as an idea based on, on, on all of this and tries to also uh, conceive some of the beliefs uh, which are that CGI is a artistic tool just as photography or painting is. Uh, I think uh, personally that CGI it resembles uh, photography in how it started because photography started very technical and commercial only and only by time it, it actually went to what it is today. It made its evolution from all the chemistry work to something that is nowadays, which is a click of a one button. And if I think about CGI, it all started with big VFX companies and games uh, companies that used it. And only in recent past years, the technology has evolved so much that even a single artist is capable to produce an uh, artwork that is appreciated by many. And I think that it's only a question of time when it really becomes almost a single click of a button and it's going to uh, be very similar to photography. There's going to be, it's going to be used by much more artists and much uh, a big space that is right beside all the industries, that is a free space. That is a space where someone that would love to create a series of clouds wouldn't take 
photography, you wouldn't take painting, but would actually use uh, CGI. So to make uh, all this come true, I collaborated with uh, filmmakers and I went to a position of client. So if you like to see people that survived my 1,000 uh, rounds of revisions, uh, these, this is uh, Raspberry and Jam, uh, who are filmmakers. And uh, also I collaborated with musicians. Uh, this is Thomas Koppel, an orchestra, who did a few of the tracks in, in, the, in the film. And I'm going to come back to Raspberry a little bit uh, because this photo is actually on eighth day of shooting. It, uh, it was in Rio de Janeiro and uh, we were very, very lucky uh, that, I mean lucky in a bad way because at a day we had the biggest rainfall in two years. So like the whole shooting day was pretty much destroyed. Uh, so before, uh, before I play this, uh, I would love to say that I'm very uh, thankful that I can be here premiering it and uh, I uh, so I hope you're going to enjoy it and uh, I welcome you to watch CGI and artistic medium. I've always had strong reactions to beauty in the world around me, but I never understood why. It's like coming to a beautiful space and saying that it's beautiful, but not knowing why. And I was very curious to know because I wanted to reconstruct that same emotion while looking at an image that I do. To find out why I devoted big part of my life on specifying precisely those triggers that make sensation of beauty for me. I find it challenging for people to understand what I do and many times found misunderstanding and perceiving my work as photographs where it's not. It's actually imaginary places and objects lit completely artificially and created in computer that many times are so photorealistic that is completely tricking human eye. It took me almost six months to really get to Jacob. I've seen many, many work, great work all over the world. And uh, it was all good, but it was not really the thing that I was looking for. And one day I, I fall on, on the portfolio of Jacob and especially the work that he did, uh, uh, that he took a year off to create a small book and he wanted to explore. And this is really quite unique. And I never met anybody that go so far to really get the thing right. I had an idea that CGI could, could be not only uh, a way to show projects that are not built, but also the possibility to show project that is already built in a different way. So I contacted Jacob and I asked him if he was interested to, to to work on this project. But he was really surprised when he learned that the building was already ready. He said, why, why you need me for then? <laughs> and, uh, and I said, well, I need you to give life to space that we cannot photograph. Amo was one of few people that really aligned with my taste and understood the meaning of the book so well. And he insisted on me coming to Rio 
and within the space for one week to absorb its emotions and observe the space completely. And that dedication and willing to go to such depth is uncommon and especially is needed for me to be able to produce the image that I want. When I first visited the building, it has been a very enriching experience for me, just because till then I have never been able to visit a space that I was representing. I could feel the space in a way that I wanted to memorize. And I wanted to memorize it because I wanted to transfer that emotion to the final images. I was very lucky that Ammo went through hundreds of details with me and was willing to explain and to teach. Back then I was almost purely visual person, but his point of view on the world was different and was functional. And learning that allowed me to translate that functionality to even better visual image. The world around us is extremely detailed and it's composed of thousands of variables from the texture, from the lighting, from the slightest curvature of the unevenness of the wall. Human beings perceive the world through emotions and taking all of that and making an emotional image means digitally getting all of these variables 100% correct. And if you just get one of these variables wrong, that means breaking that experience of the image. Through close examination of the world around us, you begin to realize that every single material possesses vastly different properties. In order to capture most accurate and detailed textures that represent material correctly, it's needed to go into incredible depths that involves and many times requires inventing new techniques of capturing them. I've learned over time that there are no shortcuts to be taken and there's a huge amount of time that needs to be invested to each step of the process to be able to reach the best results. Hey Jacob, how you doing? Well, uh, I had a
have an idea, we can set up an exhibition for you to really show all the work you did because I think that this is really an incredible work and it deserves to be uh, communicated. Well, think about it and let me know what you think. I said to Jack that it would be great for him to host a, 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 an exhibition of his work and to, to talk about it, to, to really start to engage in this conversation. Because I think that one of the biggest problem is that most people don't know what is CGI. Uh, put it just a little bit higher. Yeah, but, but move, move much more to, to, to your left, much more. Yeah, this is great. They absolutely don't understand how an image is conceived. The amount of work that Jacob dedicates to an image to prepare the texture, to get everything right, and during the process is unbelievable. And the complexity, not only technically, but also creatively, that I think that if people knew that, they will really give it a lot of value. I believe CGI is not only a technical tool, just as photography can be used to fulfill commercial needs, on the other side, it can be used to put a piece of yourself into work, into the artwork. The same is true for CGI, and I really believe that it's a true medium for artistic expression. I really believe that uh, Jacob is uh, capable to lead the way to show really what CGI can bring, not only for, for commercial aspect, but as an art form also. Because I believe personally that CGI will be in museums maybe in a couple of years. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So I very much hope that, that watching the film builds a right representation of what CGI is and what CGI artists do and why it takes the time that it takes right now to further the support the beliefs and to further the support all the solving of the problems and so on, I thought, what would be the most relevant question that someone who watched this or heard about CGI would be? And I think the most relevant question to be answered and to be answered very easily is, what is CGI? So with all the uh, beliefs. I think that CGI is going to be getting bigger and bigger, not only industry, but also just as a free form for people to express whatever, whatever they would love to. And currently, this question, I have not found any really easy answer to, to put it to broad audience. So to make this more clear, I took uh, this one rendering of the chair, uh, which which is also transferred to the white model, which breaks the belief that is photography. And then I uh, collaborated with uh, Simona Chekova 
an illustrator and uh, who is not my sister. Uh, and uh, I thought, let's make an naive illustrations that might, to an open new mind, try to depict what the steps of creation of this process are. And uh, so these are the illustrations. And the first one shows that the first step is modeling, is sculpting, is basically taking the virtual clay and putting it into, into something like a chair or it can be whatever object. That the second step is painting. So it is texturing, it is parametric or different type of shaders. It is putting what is visibly going on on the surface while making the rest of the scene and the rest of the objects with the same kind of uh, way, and then taking a virtual sphere plane or HDRI and basically illuminating the scene however you'd like, and in the final, revealing that this all has been done in computer and waiting till the computation goes. And I think that these illustrations uh, might and hopefully will support uh, one belief that is associated with all of this, and that is that CGI is a new painting, sculpture, and photography in one artistic medium. Uh, thank you so much. Both uh, web page and film are uh, going to be available by the end of uh, October. And uh, I very much hope that uh, this work might help uh, spread and help me and you with, with trying to uh, get everyone more associated with this. And I very much believe uh, and hope that it's going to be a relevant film for, for this and hopefully many upcoming years. Thank you so much.